from the scientific perspective, I think more time have to be has to be um, uh, more time has to be invested in communicating the results. It's not only reaching the final scientific result and publishing it in peer-reviewed publications. This is not the end of the road. So a step farther should be translating those results into some practical advice for, for decision makers. The main gaps that we can see between science and policy making, for instance, is uh, that the timelines for working for getting results are very different. So science for policy support uh, should be more ready to provide the information when this is needed. Uh, so I guess that scientists have to decide if they, do, they want to produce a traditional way of developing uh, knowledge and enlarging knowledge with this long-term and very detailed analysis, or if they want to react to the management needs. So if you want to support either a local uh, marine protected area manager or a European policy maker, you have to be ready to provide your information at the time that is needed. They produce a huge amount of information and usually for the decision makers it's not easy to go through all this information so they need uh, really somebody to digest and to translate this information in, into some understandable measures for uh, improving the management. There are several ways of getting fundings and I think nowadays in all the projects, grants, uh, contracts that researchers can get or, or even consultants, uh, communication is a key task. The relevance of uh, your results will be much bigger, the relevance of all your research will be much bigger if you are able to translate it into actual management uh, actions.